Hi everybody, Joe Patty here, and welcome to the Art Table. And tonight, we're going to do another coaster creation. I'm going to do with sticking to my little uh, winter wonderland type of coasters. And I'm going to make a clear coaster tonight of these little snowflakes that I got on Amazon. And I'm going to mix it with some extra fine glitter. Let's get started, everybody. I'm using my Easy Cast resin tonight, which mixes up in approximately three minutes. You stir the first batch for two minutes, and the second batch for one minute. It has a short, shorter pot time than the usual uh, glaze coat, the family wood that I use. But the results are the same. All right, everybody, I'm going to mix this up, and then we'll get started. I'm also going to mix in some glitter with that. We'll add the snowflakes when I use the second, when I pour it into the uh, second cup. I know one thing about um, all these resins, you guys. I experiment with lots of different kind of resins, and I want to tell you something right now. Resin is not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. <laughs> Believe me. There's a lot of different uh, resins out there that to perform different tasks with. Like, some resin resins will dome on for you so you can make jewelry with it some other resins uh, cure flat some resins have a cast of white some resins uh, have a longer pot time it's just like I said it's not a one-size-fits-all and um, you got to know your project if you know your project you can research your resin but I like to tinker and dabble in it all <laughs> I got my timer on the stove and I'm just stirring away. So I'll tell you guys too that uh, it's good to change your stir stick when you change cups. I'm going to throw some snowflakes in here. Try to do it this way. Also want to tell you guys these black gloves that I got they're really good for uh, with resin that you're messing with because uh, they just seem to work really well. Let's go, everybody. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me get a bigger stir stick. I like these big fat ones that I keep in this box over here. It's like tongue depressors. They're real good for getting the uh, resin out of here. I'm sure I'm going to have some overlapping and stuff like that, so I'm going to have to spend a few moments here getting that right. Come on, little snowflake. One left to go. <laughs> I will let this settle, and then uh, in the morning... Put another coat on to make sure that those stay down. Okay, now. Let's go poking around, everybody. Let's go poking around. Seem like this one is poking up, so I kind of want to get rid of that one just because I don't like it. <laughs> and when they're all overlapping each other, you can't even tell that they're snowflakes. Maybe, maybe it won't turn. Maybe this won't turn out as nice as I'd like it to. So don't hold me to it, guys. I'm not saying it's going to turn out. I'm just trying something here. And if it doesn't turn out right, I'm going to do it again, only in a different way. Right, everybody? Right. <laughs> I think I got a couple too many in there. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Of course, by the time you could answer me, it's too late. <laughs> think I have too many snowflakes in here? What should I do differently? Should I, uh, I don't know. I'm going to try to take some out. I, I just think that uh, I got too many. They're overlapping each other, and 
can't bring them, they're floating to the surface because they're one's getting underneath another and pushing forward. So I have no choice but to try to take a few out, I think. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It is kind of zen poking around here, though. <laughs> And at least if there's any bubbles in here, that's okay, because it's kind of bubbly, you know, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. All right, you know what, let's pop some more. Well, guys, I think we're going to have to let that sit till morning. And then we shall see, huh? I know, but I keep wanting to play with it now. I keep picking and picking, trying to stick it to the bottom there. Letting them sink back down in there. But I don't want to create too many more bubbles because I can't keep torching it either. I'll get pinholes. I better just leave it alone, huh? like stop it Joe stop it come on Joe all right everybody let's cover this bad boy up good night to you guys good night snowflakes good night resin let's wrap you up here for the night all right cover you up say good night pretty quiet down now get some sleep good night everybody good night mama good night Ben. good night everyone good night mama good night daddy good night children good night daddy Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Resin. Good night, Snowflakes. Good night, everybody. Now, when I went to check on this, I noticed that uh, Dummy Me tried to unmold it too soon. And uh, just to, when I just wanted to take a look at it, not really unmold it. So I picked it up like this, and I put my thumb on there, and I got some thumbprints on it. So I went and mixed up another teaspoon of resin and poured that on top, and I have not unmolded it. So let's see what it's like. I already know right now by looking at it and feeling the way it's thick. I don't like really thick coasters like that. I like them more on the medium size like my Christmas tree. Speaking of Christmas tree, I put these clear rubber backing on those instead of like cork or felt. So you can't uh, really tell. See? So you could see the uh, brown cork or the black felt or brown felt through there. And I like these little rubber I'll put a link below in case you guys are interested in buying any of those. They're really cheap and you get a lot of them. Now, let's try this. This is stuck over here. Not too shabby, I guess. It seemed like it was real sticky before I added that last coat. Nice and clear. Not one bubble. Got to clean up the edges a little bit. My thumbprint's gone. This is really pretty. A nice little winter wonderland coaster. I think there's too much sparkles in there. Like my glitters. It takes away from the snowflakes. So I'm going to make another one without the glitter. And see how pretty that can be. So let's see here. Because I think... Like I said, the glitter kind of takes away from it. It sure is pretty, though. Really pretty winter wonderland type of coasters. Everybody, that's really pretty. It turned out really nice. But I do like the smaller ones and the thinner ones. See the difference? Uh, this one's still not quite cured either, but see? This is like a big German beer mug or something, you know? And this is just coffee or wine or whatever you know I like this size the best and you can get more for your money on the resin department <laughs> alright everybody here's your meditation thought for today it's normal for your thoughts to wander simply try to take a step back and appreciate having a little headspace on that note everybody you know what's next grab your glue gun and your glitters and don't forget your ruby slippers in other words do it your way, any way you want. 
See you again soon back in the studio. Arrivederci, everybody.